Judith Oginga Martins. I am an urban planner and researcher in the field of sustainable urban mobility. I am currently working with the United Nations Human Settlements Program, also known as UN Habitat, and Blekinge Institute of Technology in Sweden. We as UN Habitat are pleased to bring to you this e-learning course on e-mobility as a means of decarbonizing transport. We hope that you will find this incredibly insightful and that it will inspire you to move your cities towards low carbon mobility, including electric mobility. By 2030, six out of 10 people in the world are expected to live in urban areas. Our world's rate of urbanization, the gradual increase in the proportion of people living in urban areas, is remarkable. Cities take up approximately 2% of the land on Earth, yet consume over 60% of global energy. They are responsible for 70% of greenhouse gas emissions and contribute to 70% of global waste. Throughout modern history, Urbanization has been a major driver of development and poverty reduction. Cities are the arena for addressing many of the global challenges of today, ranging from extreme poverty and unemployment to environmental degradation and climate change. But if unplanned and poorly managed, urbanization can exacerbate many of the problems that it claims to solve. The challenges of building sustainable cities that meet future needs require new ways of thinking. Our cities matter. They are centers of opportunity and culture with people, goods and services being constantly on the move. Cities create a conducive environment for creativity, productivity and innovation. It is no surprise that some of the greatest innovations today happen in the city. As cities and their populations grow, so do the set of urban challenges. These range from congestion, declining air quality, loss of economic opportunities, inequality, and energy inefficiency. Larger cities consume two-thirds of the world's energy and create over 70% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Transport is a key component of sustainable development owing to the direct link between mobility and development opportunities. Efficient transport systems provide socio-economic opportunities that generate multiplier effects for trade, employment, good quality of life and improved health. Inefficient systems, on the other hand, are associated with lagging economic development, missed opportunities, a low quality of life and declining health. The World Health Organization estimates that approximately 4.2 million people die every year as a result of exposure to ambient air pollution. It is estimated that approximately 60% of the world's population will reside in cities by the year 2030. Without urgent intervention, this will likely complicate the situation further. Looking at low- and middle-income countries, it is estimated that approximately three quarters of the global vehicle fleet will be found in these countries by the year 2050. Currently, these countries rely on imported used vehicles that are fueled by dirty fossil fuels from OECD countries. Decarbonizing transport by switching to electric mobility powered by renewable energy is a key strategy in mitigating increasing air pollution and in meeting global climate emission reduction targets. Global agreements such as the New Urban Agenda, the Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Agreement make provisions for actions towards achieving sustainable cities of which sustainable transport is part and parcel. To 
ensure that e-mobility solutions are integrated within a wider sustainable development framework. It is important for electric mobility to be context specific, have deep multi-stakeholder collaborations and strong urban planning. This course will provide participants with strategies for getting e-mobility right, including technical, policy and infrastructural considerations. It will also provide a planning framework through sustainable urban mobility planning and the framework for strategic sustainable development. Additional information can be found on the links provided on the website. We wish you an enjoyable learning experience.